press the red button to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to get the latest updates from Sonia Goes Natural. Hey friends, welcome to Sonia Goes Natural. आज मैं आपके लिए क्या लाई हूँ आज आपके लिए लाई हूँ खाना में फ्लेवर्स ऐड करने वाली दो चटनियाँ जो है फ्रेश कोरिएंडर और पुदीना की चटनी और दूसरी है हमारी टैमरिन की चटनी जो मैंने थोड़े डिफरेंट फ्लेवर्स मैच करके बनाई है आई होप आपको ये दोनों चटनियाँ पसंद आएंगी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद इट Let's get started with coriander and pudina chutney. I have taken one fresh bunch of coriander where I'm going to in keep intact the base and one lemon cut I have taken, three green chilies I have taken, I have taken pudina leaves about uh, 8 to 10 and about 7 to 8 almonds I have taken for the thick consistency. This is one teaspoon of cumin seeds which I have taken, sugar and salt to taste and sh sugar is basically one teaspoon and this is what I'm going to take now as I had told you I'm going to just chop off the lower little bit of part and the rest of the part I am going to use for the green chutney because it is full of nutrition so I never throw it so this is a very very good tip for all of you please don't throw the base base contains the most nutrients along with the leaves so here I have put everything into the mixer jar and I am now I'm putting the almonds into it about seven to eight almonds and then I'm putting these three green chilies into it and then I'm going to put the seasonings in form of um, sugar one teaspoon and then I'm taking the cumin seeds or zira into it and now I'm putting salt as per taste now for the consistency i'm putting a little bit of water because with about you can say this water is about two to three tablespoons of the water and now you can see the fresh chutney being crushed in the jar so now i'm just taking out and i'm going to show you the consistency of the chutney it has turned out to be fabulous with the almonds as i had told you the consistency has turned out to be very very good and the fresh mint flavors is just spreading all over so this chutney i normally uh, preserve it for about seven to eight days if you want for a longer period you can just freeze it in your um, ice cube tray and now is the time for me to add the lemon juice the freshly squeezed lemon juice into the mint and coriander chutney mixing it nicely so this becomes as a preservative for your chutney and you get a very nice fresh tangy taste so this is ready my fresh coriander and mint chutney enjoy now is the time for the tamarind chutney i have taken equal quantity of about 100 grams each of the tamarind and jaggery and then i have taken the salt to taste and this is dried cumin seed powder or the zira powder as you say and this is organic dried ginger powder or salt which you call for the chutney which i'm going to make so here i have taken about one cup of water putting this tamarind into it this is a seedless variety of the tamarind which i have taken and I'm just going to put it and let the water boil till the entire pulp flavors go into the water. I'm just going to wait. So normally that is why you have to put a little bit of water so that you require that much for it to boil and for the flavors to go inside. Now that has been boiled and I'm adding the jaggery to it. So now let us mix it and again wait for both the things to get properly dissolved in the water now you can see the flavors are getting it is being boiled properly the jaggery has dissolved into it along with the tamarind so that is the time when i'm going to add the seasoning the dry cumin powder which is generally put salt as per taste and now i'm going to put this organic dry ginger powder or the salt you call it so this adds kick, it just kicks off the flavor basically of the tamarind chutney and 
is very very yummy to taste in your tamarind chutney so do try it next time whenever you are making the tamarind chutney and now i think it is ready properly and now i'm going to switch off the gas wait for it to cool down before i actually sieve it now you can see i have sieved the uh, the chutney and the thick consistency is ready in front of us now now is the time for me to take it out and this is ready the lovely salt or the tamarind chutney which is normally used in all my chaat papris bel puris anything yummy this chutney adds and kicks off the flavors look at the consistency of it enjoy the tamarind chutney so friends these two chutneys enjoy the flavors of the mint chutney and the tamarind chutney and make your summers really exciting friends aapko kaise lagi ye do chutneyan i hope aapko ye achhi lagi ho ek week tak aap ise tamarind ki chutney ko to aap ek mahine tak store kar sakte hain aur pudina ki chutney weekly basis pe aap store kar sakte hain yadi aapko zyada time ke liye store karni hai to aap use freeze kar sakte hain apne ice trays mein और जब चाहें आप उसे यूज़ कर सकते हैं थोड़ा सा बाहर रख के थॉ करके सो so, आप ये दोनों फ्लेवर्स ज़रूर ट्राई कीजिए और मुझे बताइए कि आपको ये एपिसोड कैसे लगा टिल वी मीट नेक्स्ट टाइम प्लीज़ लाइक करें मेरा चैनल को शेयर करें और सब्सक्राइब ज़रूर करें टिल वी मीट नेक्स्ट टाइम बाय बाय